Hi everyone. Happy 2017. It's a brand new year. I know that uh, 2016 was hard for a lot of you, especially losing a lot of our, our favorite you know, film and movie and science icons, at least it was for me. But I really have nothing to complain about when I come to 2016 other than that, because I had a really great year. I really did. And for those of you that kind of followed my journey, you might have found that I, uh, I went and I, I lived in Paris for six months. I decided I wanted to have an adventure. I wanted to, to travel more and thought, you know, living in Europe for six months sounds like a great idea. So I did. It's exactly what I did. So you see, there came something, I haven't really been very public about it, and it came something that happened uh, a couple of years ago. And it was because I haven't really gotten burnt out per se, as people talk about burnout, but I began to realize that my work-life balance really wasn't very balanced. I was working 70 hours or more a week. And a lot of that was was due to the fact that, you know, that I'm very driven and I'm a bit of a workaholic anyway. I like to uh, I like to drive myself to accomplish new things and meet new goals and whatnot. But the other part of it was that there's it's a little bit of a, a drive in our industry, and I want to talk about that for a minute, to make sex workers on demand, okay? And I'm going to include myself in that as a pro-dom. I'm certainly a sex worker. There's this expectation that a lot of you, you have that we should be on demand for you. And guess what? That's not true. In every other professional industry, maybe, maybe except for, I don't know, uh, salons or, or things like that. But even these have established hours that uh, someone would be there. Okay, or like ER, still established hours for someone would be. There's this expectation that you should be able to call me or email me at any time and I should drop what I'm doing in order to, you know, cater to your desires. And this isn't true for all of you. I'm just saying this is a kind of common theme that seems to happen a lot in our industry and enough so that it drove me to uh, kind of um, skew a business model that, that was really a document of a business model that wasn't very good for me. Um, there's this kind of, uh, I don't want to call it a, a male privilege thing, you know, for lack of a better word, we'll just call it like a customer service privilege thing that because you have money, uh, that it kind of beholdens you to my time, beholdens you to my my comfort or my privacy or my personal space, that sort of thing. Certainly not, it doesn't make any things better, but when you call someone uh, and you're demanding of their time right then and right there, that's a huge lack of respect. When you email me or you, you know, send me a, a message on Skype or something like that, and it basically is kind of demanding of my time, um, when it's not obvious that I'm currently available, say, for, uh, for sessions or not, that I haven't made that clear. What it says is that you don't respect my time. You don't respect uh, my authority or my position. And what happens is, is that kind of mentality drove me to work all the time. It kind of drove me to a place that I wasn't relaxing. It made it very difficult for me to have uh, have really solid friendships because I really couldn't plan things with my friends. It made me feel guilty when I would take time off because I was constantly getting messages from from you know, slaves and fans and things like this. And a lot of times it was very much, you know, well, I really need you. Guess what? You know, like you need your doctor. You know, you might need your lawyer. Okay, at times, as your dominatrix, I, I I'm definitely. Uh, here when you need me, when you're when we have a relationship in which I need to help provide you support. But when it comes to things like sessions and your masturbation habits and things like that, guess what? That's not a need. That's uh, a want. Okay. So I want you to think twice for a minute when you start to go be demanding of a sex worker's time. It doesn't take much to be polite to say, "Hi, can I schedule something with you?" If she says, "Oh, I'm available right now," say. If it's convenient for you, then sure, I could make that happen. But don't ever assume that, right? Don't ever assume. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't call your doctor, right, and say, hey, I need to see you right now, okay? And even if that's kind of an emergency, 
you would assume you're gonna to go to the emergency room or maybe you might see them later that day or something like that, right? Um, you know, if you have really good, not a really great doctor's office, my doctor, I can never get in the same day and guys, it's too busy. But that being said, uh, I want you to just kind of be aware that being demanding of someone's time, especially someone's time who's in an authority position, uh, is skewing the power dynamic, skewing that balance. And see, for me, I really love what I do. And I, I want that symbiotic relationship that I get to have with someone. When I, when I, get, when I get to have that in-person client, you know, when I get to have a really great session, when I get to do, train someone online, when I get to, you know, have these like really great interactions, that feeds me. I fucking love it. It's great. It's what I do this for. But I want to feel like that exchange is one that comes from gratitude. That's a place that, that comes from respect. And it's a place that I want to feel like, like I'm giving and receiving at the same time, not I'm giving and you're taking. Nobody wants that, right? You don't want that in your job either. And this is more, this is more than a job for me. This is my vocation. This is the life that I've chosen and a life that I want. So in 2017, I've decided uh, instead of being kind of reactionary, which is a little bit what I did this last year, kind of start cutting people off and uh, really not being available for sessions. It was uh, making it kind of difficult <laughs> to, for you to schedule with me because I was uh, a little bit put out and I kind of needed to recoup my personal space, my personal time. It doesn't mean that I wasn't taking sessions or I didn't like it or, you know, I, I was mad at any of you or any of those things. Don't take me the wrong way. It was just a general overall feeling that I needed to address. So now in 2017, I've decided that I really miss uh, a lot of the things, a lot of my sessions, a lot of my online sessions, my webcam sessions, you know, um, my really great extended bondage sessions and Wicked Eden, et cetera, et cetera, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a, I have a new bond, so I've already started with it. I have a new schedule. I'm taking sessions only a couple of days a week. I also take in-person sessions only a couple of days a week. And you would need, you do need to schedule these things uh, as far and about in advance as you can. Obviously, um, sometimes I, I may have availability that that same week, but I ever assume I'm gonna have availability that same day. In fact, I won't do same day appointments. Uh, I'll need at least 48 hours notice because I like to be able to plan my days. I'm a control freak, you know. I don't like chaos. I don't like, I don't like not knowing what I'm gonna do when I wake up first thing in the morning. Don't make my life difficult, right? But. I will make time for people. I will make time for both you, those of you who can serve me in person and those of you who want to serve me online. And if your schedule is so chaotic or, you know, you're trying to do things where, um, say, you're uh, trying to, to be discreet and, you know, you can't always plan, uh, I'm, you know, I'm sorry that I, I, I might not be able to accommodate those, but you know what? You can always get a custom video from me. That way I can record it at my leisure and still give you that kind of feeling of personal one-on-one -on -one interaction. I think that'd be good for both both of us because I really love this I really do love what I do and I intend to do this for quite some time and see I don't want to continue to perpetuate the myth especially in the sex industry that uh, sex workers you know have expiration dates right that somehow the only thing that I'm selling is this right and that I'm you know my beauty will fade and expire guess what that's not I'm not selling anything except giving you an opportunity to have my time because what's really valuable here is not this, it's not this, it's this, right? This is what you're coming to me for, for my amazing experience and my sharp wit and all the brain power what I might do with it to you and with you. So I don't know about you, but I'm really ready for 2017. I, I intend to do a fair amount of traveling. Uh, I intend to have some really great experiences and I've got some really great new projects uh, as I am expanding my evil vampire, and uh, I'm really excited to do all these things. I, I hired this great assistant at the end of this last year, Avery, and she is just fucking incredible. Let me tell you this, this girl is just sharp and savvy and amazing and uh, yeah, you'll get to you'll get to see more of her soon. but. Uh, I'm excited to take things to the new ne next level and I'm excited to have you guys come along with me for the next next part of my journey. So, are you ready for it? And, uh, oh yeah, by the way, I won't be quite so lax in my video updates again. I've got plenty of good ideas that I want to do 
do more YouTube videos for, but uh, do keep them coming. If you got questions or topics or things you'd like me to discuss, uh, I'm all for it. So we'll see you guys again very, very soon. And uh, I look forward to seeing some of you in person or online or getting to read your correspondence, especially those of you that are uh, reaching out to me to show me how important I am to you. I love that. All right, I'll talk to you soon.